here we have some people on Sky News trying to claim that the Israeli government isn't committing a genocide, even though 153 nations can see what is going on and that they're committing a genocide and trying to claim Africa is lying about uh, saying that Israel is committing a genocide and filing claims against them. The Court of Justice is set to begin hearings later this week after South Africa filed a case against Israel, accusing it of violating the Genocide Convention in its war on Hamas. Joining me now is Sparked Online's chief political writer, Brendan O'Neill. Brendan, what a ridiculous waste of time all of this is. The US has hit out about it. What on earth is South Africa playing? I mean, who really cares if the United States itself just said something about it? I mean, there, and there's 153 nations that can see what's going on, and they all agree that the Israeli government is committing a genocide by their indiscriminate bombings, the destruction of the infrastructure, the starvation of the Palestinians, and the, you know, the gross killings of innocent civilians. I am. You know, I think South Africa is behaving disgracefully here. You know, this is not a genocide. This is a war. And by the way, it's a war that Hamas started with its unprovoked attack on the civilians of Israel on the 7th of... Uh, okay, yeah. Hamas attacked first. That doesn't justify the Israeli government killing 20,000 civilians and destroying the infrastructure. Of October. It is a grotesque lie to accuse Israel of genocide. And I think actually it's even worse than that. We're witnessing an inversion. Well, it what? Just because one government says the Israeli government isn't committing a genocide, that's what we, the facts? But that's not the facts. The facts are the Israeli government is doing that. They've killed 20,000 people so far of morality because it was Israel that was attacked by a genocidal terror organization on the 7th of October and yet it's Israel that is now being accused of genocide it was yes because that is what they're doing um, one you know one war crime doesn't justify another war crime just because Hamas attacked doesn't mean the Israeli government gets to starve and displace millions of people and then what about all the ministers calling to either nuke Gaza make it so uninhabitable that Gaza uh, Palestinians can't live there or about resettling uh, Israelis in Gaza Israel that was subjected to this fascistic assault, and yet it's now Israel that has been likened to the fascists. You know, it was the people of southern Israel who were subjected to the worst attack on Jews since the Holocaust, and yet everywhere you look, it is Israel that is being compared to the architects of the Holocaust. This is an... Well, yeah, even uh, Israelis in Israel liken Netanyahu to Hitler because he's acting like Hitler. He talks about the Palestinians just like Hitler. He talks about committing a genocide just like Hitler and how or you got other people in the Israeli government calling all Palestinians terrorists and that they all should be killed. An inversion of reality, an inversion of truth, and an inversion of morality itself. And I think South Africa should be ashamed of itself for bringing this case. And all its cheerleaders in the Western media should be ashamed of themselves too. They're projecting the sins of Hamas onto the victims of Hamas, and that is really out of order. Well, that makes no sense whatsoever. They're projecting the sins of, Ham of Hamas onto the victims. N no, people see what the Israeli government is doing. Indiscriminate bombings, the killings of innocent civilians, the attacks on uh, journalists and UN shelters. Uh, people can see what's going on. Hmm. Indeed. Now, USA Boxing is facing a backlash over its transgender policy, which would allow male boxers who transition 